All right, welcome everyone. So in this video, I want to discuss how we could verify all of the products we just calculated in the previous video. Um, and so I would encourage you to do the multiplication yourself. You really need to understand how vector, or excuse me, matrix multiplication works yourself before you can check to see that Python is doing things correctly. Um, so I practiced all of my products um, by hand, first of all. We can see the results over um, on the screen. I'm gonna open up the file in Google Colab and you can find the link to this file in the description of this video where we're gonna check these results. Okay, so I've got my Google Colab uh, file open. And just so you're aware, um, we have imported NumPy as uh, NP. Um, so you would wanna make sure you have a command like this run in a code block before you try running some of the code that I entered down here. Um, so we're using NP because we're working with arrays. So I have input matrix A, matrix B, matrix C, and matrix F um, from that slide that we were just looking at. Um, the questions we already answered just involve matrix B and F. We'll use A and C in the next example. Um, so we were asked on one hand to calculate the product of B and F. So if I want to calculate this product, um, then the order is important. So I first I'm multiplying B, then I'm multiplying F. And again, we want to use NP dot here. This is matrix multiplication. And we can check the output, which gives us the same output I'm checking that we got on our slide. So good, we did that one correct. Um, let's take a look at what happens if instead I were to use just the multiplication symbol. So if I do this and I don't pay attention to this warning up here and I hit play, um, I get something totally different back because what it's doing is multiplying not matrices, but it's taking the one one element of B times the one one element of F and that gives me four. And then it takes the one, one element of B minus one times the, or excuse me, the one, two element of B times the one, two element of F. And that gives us the minus one and so on. So you don't just multiply entries by each other. Um, it's more complicated than that. And that's why this NP dot is the correct function to use. So I'm just gonna delete this entirely. And this is the way we would want to run it. Um, you can check that matrix multiplication is not commutative in general. So if I change the order around, um, maybe it's good to compare both of these. So I'll leave this here. I'll define a new matrix N, which is NP dot FB. And then I'm gonna print these both out with some line breaks in between them. That's what these dash ends are. Um, we can compare the two results. And you can see we get different products. We get a different result when we change the product around. So just be very careful about that. And let's add one more product here. Um, we also were asked to calculate B squared. So for that, we could um, calculate B times B. And let's print that output to the screen, um, just that one alone. So I'm gonna print P out and that matches the calculation that we found on the slide. And if you're curious, like how could I do B cubed? Well, you can embed these statements. So I can uh, have an N P dot B B. And this would give me B times B times B for example. Okay, and now while we have Google Colab open, I'll do this by hand second. Um, let's try and calculate these products in Google Colab. So let's look at them on the slides first of all. So we're gonna take the product of matrix A and B and C. So number one is saying, let's first calculate the product of B times C, and then we're gonna multiply A times the product of B and C. Whereas the second question, we're taking the same product, but um, the order that we're doing these products is changing in the sense that I'm not rearranging the order of the 
matrices themselves, but this one is saying, let's first take the product of A and B and then multiply that result by C. Uh, so I will open up Google Colab, just keep the questions in mind. And I've entered matrix A, B, and C in the Google Colab file already. Okay, so um, here's our matrix A, B, and C. And we're gonna calculate these products in a couple of different ways. So first question was saying, let's calculate A times B, C. So what this means is we're first gonna take the product of matrix B and matrix C. And you can either store this someplace um, and then read it into the next line of code or you can do all of these operations in one line of code as follows. And so what this product is doing is it's saying, let's first take the product of B times C. And then after it does this result, it's gonna multiply this product of B and C times matrix A. So the order in which I calculate the products um, is important here, and the order that I input the matrices is important here. So um, this will be the output um, that we have for, for question one. And then in question two, it was saying um, calculate the product where we do A, B first, and then multiply by matrix C. And I'll call this output Y. And now what we're gonna do is the matrix that's on the left is gonna be the product of A and B. And then after taking that product, we are gonna multiply it by the matrix C. So this is saying first calculate A and B and then take that result and multiply it by C. And um, these were things that we just did to verify some of the results in the previous example. I'm just gonna comment them out in case you wanna play around with them later. Um, but now let's print um, out A times B, C. And we called that matrix Z. Let's put a couple uh, line breaks here. And then we've got A, B times C. And then let's enter that we stored as matrix Y. And let's run this code. And down below, uh, we can see the products A times B, C and A, B times C. Um, and notice these are in fact equal to each other. Uh, so here we have kind of verified that the associative property for matrix multiplication works. Um, we've seen already that the commutative property for matrix multiplication is not true. Um, okay, so we will go on to the um, slide next and verify this output here. Um, I think it's important for us to practice doing these by hand as well.